Hi everybody, good morning. It's Every Day with Lisa. It's a wonderful day. It's a beautiful day. This is the day that the Lord has made and I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Now yesterday I didn't um, I wasn't wasn't able to do anything yesterday or do any talks yesterday because I didn't do any videos yesterday actually because um, you know I've been very very busy a lot of changes happening and a lot of things I have to be doing and moving about and a lot of things so I, I was totally and completely busy and of course as you very well know that internet was kind of bad yesterday as well it was a terrible internet yesterday so um so I'm hoping that everybody is okay and everybody's fine and and um, you know today I want to talk about changes you know, we all have to go through changes in life and nobody likes changes. And today I want to, this is my topic of speaking about change of season, change of time, change of, you know, everything that is, there's a change, you know, things will never always go the same. That's not how life is, you know, there's always a chapter for, for everybody's book. You change your chapter, you go into another chapter. And we must be able to accept changes in our life okay it is very important to accept changes in your life you know and it's not it's not easy I, I i must say it's not easy for changes to happen but why why it happens is because it's to make us a better person you know most the most of the time changes is is a progress first we progress by change okay and you know and it's not easy it's not easy to have to go through changes but we learn from our changes we we sometimes we have to make a change to improve us okay so today i'm going to talk about changes and i wrote of course i did some study up on changes and you know some scriptures in the bible about changes and change of season when people claim that they love change what they really mean is they love to be the implementers of change nobody likes change sprung upon them so nobody wants change especially when ch you, okay sometimes you know they're going to have a change in your life or maybe you're going to change you're going to move to a different country okay you, you expect that because you have that planned okay and even even moving to a different country is hard it's hard you know because you have to adapt to that area you have to adapt to those cultures and all of that so even that is hard moving from one country to the other but you expect that because it's a plan but sometimes changes can be sprung upon you just like that. One day it is like this and the other day it's different. Sometimes changes could just be sprung upon you and you don't expect it to happen. For example, a death in a family. All of a sudden you find out your, your uncle died or your brother died or your sister died or your cousin died. It's a, it's a, it's a change. It's, a, it's a, a change that is sprung upon you. So we must always remember that in life there will be changes and certain things will happen to change our life and it could happen in a snap of a moment. Okay? For example, suddenly change from what you can suddenly change from one area to your of your job to another area of your job. Okay? Maybe they want to put you from one department to another and you might not want that because you feel so happy and you're so good in where you are working. But they want to put you to another apartment, you know, another department, sorry. Okay? But this is maybe is for your, this would maybe be for your progress. Okay? You are progressing by this. Okay? So we must be able to accept it. Maybe you have to move from one country to another or one city to another. This also is for your progress. And this is also for your benefit. Okay, most of the time when God allows changes to happen in your life, it's to make you a better person, to grow you, to make you be successful. Okay, and um, when a child, when a child leaves their mother's house, okay, or their father's house, they live in the nest. When they're big people and they leave the nest and decide to leave, they be, reach the age of leaving their father and mother's house. It is hard for a parent to let go their children. Maybe they have to go to university and study. They have to go away to study. It is hard for a mother and father to let go that child to go away and study, but that child becomes independent by that change. You know, we can't have our children always under our roof, okay? And we, when they get old, when they reach a certain age, they themselves want to be independent too, 
okay and they need to go out on their own and explore life and and you we have to trust in god we must trust in god that god will be with them to protect them and to guide them and that they will make the right decisions we we will always be there to to guide them and we will always be there to give them advice when they call for advice or they come across to visit for advice it's good to give them advice but you must let your children go let them go let them explore life let them become independent okay so that is another change that is hard for people you know to, to, that is another change that is hard sometimes you will get as i said another job you maybe you might get a job offer and it might be a better job offer but you're so com you're so comfortable in your job you don't want to move from this job to that job but that might be something that would make you better, make you progress, make you just more successful. So there are many ways that you can go through changes, okay? And I, as I said, human beings, it is hard for us to transit from one place, transit from one t thing to another. It is very, very hard for us to, to change. And because we like to be in a comfort zone. Human beings like to be in a comfort zone. They get, they, they're in this comfort zone and... You have to take them out of that comfort zone is a hard thing, you know. But sometimes we have to move out of our comfort zone, okay. You must move out of your comfort zone. Even in the church, even in church has that too. Sometimes the church doesn't want to change. They don't want to change a method of bringing people to God. They want to stay in that same traditional method of bringing people to God. But maybe God wants you to change Maybe God wants you to bring it, do something more vibrant, more more power, more, more Holy Spirit power, more, more, more fire for him so that you could bring more to him. Maybe the old way of the church is is not really bringing the young people to God. And you, maybe you need to change that too. Okay, so that is what we need to learn. We need to learn about changing. While change is necessary for survival, it is also a scare. It is also very scary. Okay, a lot of people are afraid to change to change and move into another part of the another um, chapter of their life because they are afraid. They, they they have a lot of fear in them. Okay, and um, they don't want that. Change confronts us with uncertainty of the future. If everything changes, the thing that I've held as familiar, as comfortable, as safe will be gone. Then what am I left with? You understand so it is you, you don't want to lose what you're accustomed to you don't want to lose what you're comfortable with and a change you don't know what's gonna happen in the future so you're scared you mustn't be afraid always believe that when you go forward you're going forward with God God is moving with you he's going there with you okay he's going before you and maybe he's calling you to that place so that he can work with you that he can make you the way he wants you to be and you will be progressive you will progress more you, you prosper more maybe he wants you to move to that place or to move to that job or whatever so that he because he has something in store for you when god spoke with abraham right he wanted them from to move from one place to the other god said he wanted them to move from that place to the other okay and abraham had enough faith to believe to move from this place to go to that place because god wanted to use abraham in that place understand so God moves us he shifts us okay for, for his purpose okay the Israelites the Israelites said most said to Moses and Aaron oh how we wish that the Lord had just put us to death while we were still in the land of Egypt okay because they, they of course they they had come out of the land of Egypt because God wanted to set them free right to liberate his people and God used Moses and Aaron to liberate them, he used Moses to liberate them, but because they were in the desert, for, they were in the wilderness for a long time, okay, and they were getting frustrated, they were getting frustrated because it was not going to this promised land that they would, that God had promised them, so they were becoming very frustrated, so they, they would, they told, they said, Moses, they said to Moses and Aaron, oh, how we wish that the Lord had just put us to death while we were still in the land of Egypt. There we could sit by pots cooking meat and eat our fill of bread because they had food in Egypt. Instead, you've brought us out into the desert to starve this whole assembly to death. So when you see when they, they were slaves, they forgot all about that. They were slaves in Egypt. They forgot how the Egyptians um, treated them. But because they were comfortable, they was in a comfort zone. But you see what God wanted to do was take the Israelites out of Egypt so that he could 
because he wanted to put them in the promised land. He had a land for them. He had a land for his people. And he wanted to take them to that land. You understand? But they, because of them being in the desert, having no food at some times, they were becoming very frustrated, desperate. And they just said, well, why you take me out of here? Why you take me out of where I was? What, come here and, and suffer? And that's the same thing with, that's the same thing with people. Sometimes when they move, it's not going to be an easy move. When I move, when I move from from venezuela to here okay i lived in venezuela for 17 years i lived in venezuela for a very long time and i had a, i mean i had my house and everything there and i decided god wanted me i knew that god wanted me to come back home to trinidad god said it is time for you to go back home to trinidad and god wanted me to come back home to trinidad and i'm very glad that he brought me back home because things are very bad across there very bad unfortunately and i pray for that country but it wasn't easy because i left a lot of things there but I moved in faith and now I know that I'm I know that God is working with me and I trust that God is working with me and I've been through a lot of changes. Okay. And it's not easy. I'm not saying that it's easy to transit coming from there and coming here and you know, I have to struggle, make back start back a business and start to make you know, it's it's not easy for me. But I trust that God is he brought me here for a reason and He's going to set up a, a, a thing for me okay it's not going to be easy to, to to change it's not easy to leave what you have and to go to another thing okay and this is what happened with the israelites the israelites are basically saying they'd rather be slaves in egypt than free on free and uncertain of the future even though god is literally guiding them even after the miracle of the parting of the red sea so they saw the miracle the parting of the red sea and they saw all that what God did for them and still because of frustration and, and impatience and they didn't couldn't wait for the, what what it because they do not they did not know what was going to happen in the future. They don't what they did not know if they're going to be staying with the wilderness for the rest of their lives, waiting for bread manna. God sent manna from the heavens. They were frustrated by that change. All right. Even though they were slaves, even though God's freedom from slavery in Egypt, still they they were frustrated because of the change, because they, they didn't have that comfort zone. Okay? Oftentimes, the unknown future can be so frightening to people that they'd rather be stuck in the past, no matter how awful the past may be, because at least they're familiar with it. They'd rather face the enemy that they know than face the future of endless possibilities. Why? Because they don't know what is going to happen in the future. They are afraid. And we must not let fear control us. We must always let faith be over fear. We must always have faith over fear. We must never let fear control us. It is mostly fear that makes us, does not, it's mostly fear that helps, that doesn't want us to have that change. Okay, when we have that fear in us, we don't want change. You understand so we must be able to have faith and remember that our God goes before us and if God makes a change in our lives it's for the better most of the time changes happen in our life to better us to make us better people to make us progress okay now let's see what the scriptures say about change let's see I looked up at is ecclesiastes that's all that word that name this always have me tight on is ecclesiastes 318 is Ecclesiastes. I, I could never pronounce it. For everything, there is a season and a time for every matter under the heaven a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn. And a time to dance, a time to, to, to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing. And that is in AC Classes 318. So there is a season for everything in life. Always remember that. There is a season for everything in life. Nothing will always stay the way it is. We must accept changes. We must know that there will be changes in our life. We must be strong in the time of changes. And we must believe in our God. We must believe that God is allowing this change to happen in our life to make us better, to make us progress. 
because God is it is a it is a journey our life is a journey we are walking on a journey okay and it's a journey to our to where we supposed to be our heavenly home with God for all eternity okay and this remember it is a journey and you have, must sometimes have to let go things material things you will have to let go material things and you'll have to let go things that you love to make a change okay because that is how it is that is what God that is what God is allowing to happen so don't be afraid of changes don't be afraid of changes and James 1 12 says blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trials James 1 12 says blessed is a man who remains steadfast under trials for when he has stood the test he will receive the crown of life which God has promised to those who love him blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trials for when he has stood the test he will receive the crown of life which God has promised to those who love him so we will all have trials in our lives we will all have tests in our lives we will all have times to cry just as i said in easy classes you will have time to mourn you will have time to laugh there will be time to weep there will be time to plan there will be there's a time a season for everything in life but once we believe and we trust that the Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, is always with us, He goes before us, He's beside us, He's behind us, He's around us, He's protecting us, His, His light is surrounding us, we will always have that hope that God is with us in all our changes in our life. Okay? And do not be afraid to let go sometimes things because we must let go so that we can have something better. God will not take away from you if he's not going to give you back. God will not take away from you if he's not going to give you back something more. You must always remember that. If you have to let go a job, God is going to provide a better job for you. He's going to open another door for you. He's going to close one door and open another door for you. Okay? If you have to leave a, 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 a toxic relationship because it's not good for you, God is going to open up. He's going to he's going to bring a better person in your life if you pray to god you ask god god bring the right person in my life he will bring that correct person in your life a person who will more suit you okay so sometimes it's good to let go toxic relationships as well that is a change in your life let go people that will hurt you that will bring you down i have been through a lot of changes in my life i had to let go people in my life that was hurting me okay that was making thing was making me um cry and making me uh, go through um to suffer but i let it go i had to let them go so that i can move on and when i did that god told me he said lisa i am going to close this door and i pr i will open up another door for you and he did he opened another door and sometimes it's good to let go things that are not good for you because when you let go things that are not good for you let you let off that that pain and that burden that you have upon yourself and you feel free you free you're free you feel better when when i let go the, those certain things that wasn't good for me i felt a better person i felt freer my whole my, people told me my whole face changed my whole face changed you see they saw everything was different about me so sometimes we have to make changes for the best okay we make changes always for the best god allows changes to happen so you just have to trust in god and always remember too that god sometimes you, you must not hold on to your children always remember that sometimes when they get old, big enough they have to get married they have to go on their own or they want to move out let them go let them go and let them let them explore life and let them see what god has there for them and teach them that god is always with them and god will always provide for them and let them learn how to call on upon the name of god teach your children who God is teach them who Jesus Christ is so because that is the most we will one thing that we will never have to change in this life is having God in our life God will never leave us he will never abandon us he will never forsake us everything will change but God will never change God is the only thing that will never change God is the same yesterday today and tomorrow God is the great I am he is and will always be and he will never change his word would never change the word of god will never change no one can change the word of god the word of god stays the way it is you are not supposed to change the word of god 
okay so those are the things that won't change so you must remember that god will never change he will never change his love towards you even though other things in your life will change god will never change and he will always be there for you and he will bring you up and he will pull you out of whatever you have to go through and make you a stronger person for it so hold on steadfast hold on to your god as i said persevere in trials and god will have that crown of life waiting for you okay so i leave you with this word today and i pray that you people will have a wonderful day a blessed day and um talk to god when you go in your cars driving talk to god before you go to bed talk to jesus when you wake up in the morning praise his holy name don't let anything get you down always remember do what you love doing and always remember to make somebody happy do what it is best don't let anything of the day get you down they will always have things you will always have your little troubles a little stress but don't let it take you down okay remember god loves you and he's always there for you so have a wonderful day people have a blessed day today and i will see you tomorrow